Josh, what's up, man? How you been? How are you? How are you? Good, I see man. you got a mask and everything. Man, it's crazy time, but how are you holding up? I'm good, man. I'm staying home, you know, staying home and uh, just hoping for things to get better. It's I'm, I'm more worried for, like, family and, and friends that are in more crowded areas, you know? I know, man. It's intense. Um, we were supposed to do this interview last week, I think, right? But you were, you were not feeling well. I was worried about yeah. you. Yeah. Um, I, I didn't want to come in because I like had a I was I had a cough and I was like nervous. But a lot of people are sick and it has nothing to do with that. Like exactly. my girlfriend has pneumonia, her brother has a flu, so I just had a cough. I've had a cough for like like, like less than a week, but like no fever, nothing else. So I just I was nervous, just didn't want to didn't want to risk it. Yeah, how concerned are you personally about this coronavirus? You know, I'm not the type of person to ever like buy into stuff, and I don't even watch the news ever. But then it gets to a certain point where you know you start you start getting worried i'm I'm pretty concerned i think you know it is something serious it's not a hoax it's not and um i just hope it gets it gets better i mean it's it's been devastating thus far we haven't experienced anything like this in our lifetime so far and, it, and people are saying it hasn't peaked they're saying china's lying about numbers iran's lying about numbers so you know i, I don't know yeah, well, Iran is actually, I heard the situation there is much more severe than anywhere else, actually. Um, you know, I know Italy is, is very concerning as well, but I, I hear Iran could be way, way worse. Uh, I'm not sure if it's true or not. Have you heard anything about that? I mean, my dad lives there. I have family that's there, you know. Um, hmm. The numbers say China, Italy, then Iran. Mm -hmm. China has as, of, as, as of now, as of now, right, right. Yeah, I really don't know. They say Iran is lying and there's like satellite pictures. I just got off the phone with my friend literally a minute ago and he was telling me that. I really don't know. I just hope that they can contain it and mm -hmm. get things under control. The scary thing is, is like you don't have symptoms, you can carry it. You can have one symptom and carry it. Give it to somebody else. So if they don't lock everyone down, then it can keep getting contaminated. And a lot of people aren't that cautious, man. Like before the gyms closed, like the last two, three days, People are still trying to shake my hand and give me hugs. Absolutely. I've been, I've been staying away from human contact for a few weeks now. Even when I trained, I would just look, I would train, and then I would scrub my hands and then uh, wipes and then alcohol in the car and then clean again. I just would make sure I wouldn't touch my face or anything. But people were shaking hands, you know. A lot of people older in the 50s and 60s, believe it or not. Mm, I see. Interesting. Now, uh, how concerned are you, about, uh, are you about losing gains? You know, obviously gyms are closed. I'm sure you're doing some home workouts, right? I mean, what's what's how you how you yeah, maintain I, that? I, I do I do home workouts. Um, no one's gaining muscle with a home workout. That's the number one question that I get. There, no one's gaining muscle. You're not you're not improving your physique with a home workout. If it's only two weeks, I'm not worried. Um, we're not going to atrophy. We're not going to lose that much size. And more so, if you are doing the home workouts. You're strengthening areas of your body that you don't strengthen normally in the gym. So as bodybuilders, we we fall short a lot of times on the the smaller muscles or areas of our body, like your core, for instance, or stability. Mm -hmm. We don't really do that. Not a lot of bodybuilders do that. It's um, mainly because you just you get tired after a workout. You don't have time, or you get lazy, or whatnot. So the home workouts will strengthen those areas and maybe give people a little bit of a break um, putting stress on their body and, and help them bring up some injury injured areas and, and recover but if we're talking more than two weeks it's it's a problem it's going to have a very bad effect on the, on a on a bodybuilding sport the industry right we're talking about shows being canceled potentially let's, i mean let's say it happens for months and gyms too you know like what people yeah. are going to do it's crazy it already has you know it already has i think made a huge impact in bodybuilding in the IFBB. I mean, a bunch of shows got canceled. So they're saying this is going to run into the summer. If if shows start up in June, how is everyone going to qualify within, you know, two months? Uh, then it's going to be really, really hard to qualify. So I, I don't know how much it's going to affect this year's Olympia. Mm -hmm. I heard a rumor somewhere that bodybuilders, because you know some people have no effects at all from coronavirus, no symptoms. Some people have very, very severe symptoms, like to the point where obviously death, and some kind of in the middle, you know. I heard a rumor that bodybuilders, you know, because of the, you know, maybe genetics, also the immune systems, also supplements that they take is actually, should be able to fight corona very effectively. Have you heard something like that? Do you think any truth to that at all? 
Sounds like an awesome rumor. <laughs> I hope it's true. <laughs> you know, I, I think it, no, I think it has to do with the individual. I think you either have a weak immune system or you have a strong immune system. Mm -hmm. um, if anything, I think I'm very, very, I've always been very, very healthy, but training, um, I'm known for, you know, blunt force trauma, really high intensity, low volume training. I don't do that much anymore now. I'm older, I have some bumps and bruises, but mm -hmm. when I was younger and I used to train at max intensity, real, real, real heavy, low volume, I used to get sick often mm -hmm. because it's so taxing on your nervous system and your immune system. So is it possible over years of bodybuilding and eating good and supplementing, you have a strong immune system? Absolutely. But if just somebody is abusing their body or they just don't have a great immune system genetically, whatever the case may be, I don't think it makes that much of a difference.